If you see it, it must be true. P. Diddy was beating the shit out of his boo. That's crazy, man. Look outside and just watch sometimes, and you just see that the world is always going to reveal itself through the internet. Like, like, like it's kind of crazy to me when I kind of think about it. That no matter what you do in this world, the internet keeps like a track record of everything. And there was always reports that P. Diddy was out here like just doing heinous shit, whooping people, fighting. And it was back in uh, that video was like 2016. Apparently, if you don't, if you need to catch up, P. Diddy was um, a footage got leaked from a hotel. Him hitting his um, then wife, I want to say, or some girlfriend. I don't think it was Kim Porter, but the girlfriend after Kim Porter shows him whooping her in the, uh, the hotel lobby where she like ran out with a vase. He chased her down with a towel, hit her, kicked her on the ground, and um, basically went about his business. And this was kept hidden for like six, seven years. It begs the questions like, okay, what are the authorities doing? Like, who, who's who's in charge of making sure shit like this doesn't go down? And how is he protected for this long? And how many other videos are out there? Because this can't be the only one. Because if you, you gotta really think about this. It, it's it's crazy enough for a man, just a man in, in himself, not even rich, famous, well known, anything like that. It's crazy enough for a man himself to run down a hotel lobby, chasing a woman he knows, kicking her while she's on the ground, beating her in a towel. In a white towel, then going back to his hotel room like nothing happened. And so when you go and you amplify that by like a hundred times, because Peter is one of the most well-known people on the planet, especially in America, with footage, hotel footage, and the woman was alive that he got hit, that hit by. I appreciate sure she made some reports that, that for this man to be able to walk free, Freely for about six or seven years. Because I think that video is 26, 20, 20, 17. So this is almost eight years ago. For this footage to be out for that long and no repercussions and nobody believing that he was doing this shit is incredible. It, it really begs the question, okay, those raids that happened uh, like the last month or whatever where PD's like whole house got raided. There was a plane and shit like that. The 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 fly love or that fucking that plane was that went over to overseas in Puerto Rico somewhere and dropped off a bunch of tapes and stuff. Kind of makes you question: Is Pete Diddy an asset? Like, is he a FBI, CIA mole plant asset? Uh, somebody to be utilized within the, the system? Because that's the only way you can get away with some shit like that. Like, that's not normal. And and, and it really begs the question. What is the repercussions going to face? Because there has to be more tapes. And I'm surprised who let that tape out. I got so many questions. How did that tape get open? How many other tapes do we have of P. Diddy doing other heinous activities and things? Because, dude, that's assault. Say what you want to say. He can go down for that. That's assault. If she presses charges, which she she absolutely does have charges, clearly P. Diddy. Clearly there was indicator and records of him being in the hotel. There's footage. There should be a case. Like there, there, there is no dead man doesn't tell no story. Though. There, there is footage. So my question is, like, where do we do with the footage? What do we do next step? Where, where does this go from here? How much other hard evidence is out there for P. Diddy to be out there to be able to walk free? Because plenty of men have gone down for way, way less. Way, way, way less. So the, the idea he's even walking free, like, it's mind-blowing. Simply mind-blowing. And it makes you almost think about the, the Kim Porter. Do we reopen that case? Because at now, currently, her her killer is at large. And chances are her large killer was P. Diddy. And I find this to be alarming. I find it to be uh, confusing. Uh, to a large degree, even uh, dejecting and depressing. Because it kind of makes you look like, as human beings, like, who's really running the show? Like, how much power do we really have? What is the true criminal justice system? Like, what is it really here for if we can't? open and shut cases where clearly a guy who was whooping a woman who has multiple reports of doing heinous activities, has multiple people come out against him, how is he still walking free? I understand I understand that there should be trial and justice and you're instantly proven guilty, but Jesus Christ, people. How long are we going to keep somebody Ill, uh, innocent before he goes to trial? It, 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 what is the justice if we can just pay it off? If there's a number to every case what is truly justice? Does justice exist? Is justice truly just a, uh, a made-up concept in our heads or minds that doesn't truly uh, mean anything unless you are of somebody of high stature? Like, 
is there any righteousness in the world? Because if there is righteousness in the world, this is this is done. There's no question. There's no talk. There's no concerns. There's no trying to figure it out. And it also um, it also uh, brightens up and illuminates the, the the great Fifty Cent, the great Fifty Cent who's been calling us for quite some time, who we never give enough credit to, and, and, and that's nothing we have to really give uh, Fifty credit to, because despite all the madness of the rap game, the drug game, Fifty Cent is relatively uh, clean clean. Um, what's the word? Clean rap sheet. No pun intended. When you examine Fifty, you look at his like his his laundry list of things that he has done. What you will never find is Fifty Cent beating on women, uh, Fifty Cent doing any type of gay accusations, Fifty Cent doing any weird things, exploiting people. Fifty has actually played the game very smart and very uh, clean and very fair, which is very interesting. Because the one guy that came from the streets, he's the one true street dude. Like there's not too many guys who are uh, street characters besides 50. 50 actually is a good dude, solid character, and it kind of makes sense because he's the only one who's ever been talking bad, and uh, not talking bad, but speaking righteously, saying that these guys are all clowns, 50. he It's just it's interesting because as the internet is starting to come to light, and Cat Williams always said this, in 2024, all the big de- deviants will start to fin, uh, find themselves in altercations. Will find themselves with the the... the, the the dust of their bullshit getting found by the broom of righteousness. So I, I look forward to seeing the downfall of P. Diddy and what else it brings in this life. Because uh, it, it's, it's fascinating. It, it, and it, it, it kind of makes you think, who is P. Diddy being protected by? And why is he being protected? And what affiliations to what nefarious uh, networks is he dealing with? And that's what I'm. That's what I'm, I'm more serious in question about. Is like how deep does the, the the rabbit hole go? Do I even want to go that far? But anyway, appreciate you guys for listening. Hopefully, we find out more about this, man. This is serious, uh, serious shit.